You're watching Kalkine Media. The United States is gearing up to enhance its power play as Russia and China challenge the superpower. It is advancing strategic ties with other influential countries. In a recent set of developments, the US Department of Defense has requested Congress to let it finance some of its facilities in the United Kingdom and Australia. These facilities that process strategic minerals are used to make electric vehicles and weapons and more. So the Defence Department has even called the proposal crucial to national defence. This plea would alter the Defence Production Act. Introduced during the Cold War era, this plea, however, is not nodded completely to. It is up to Congress to reject or accept the proposed changes. The verdict will be known when it finalises the bill later this year. The existing law exempts the funds from being used to dig new money. Mines. Still, they can be used for other purposes such as processing equipment, upgrading the existing facilities, etc. But the twist here is that currently just facilities in the United States and Canada are eligible for the funding. The recent development has come in the light of America trying hard to mitigate the country's defence on China for lithium or other minerals which are used to make a wide range of technologies. The Pentagon stated in its plea that adding the UK and Australia would allow the government to make the best use of the resources being provided by its closest allies. According to the Pentagon, the step would help them enhance the country's manufacturing and industrial base capabilities and give them an edge in the highly strained times and the environment of great competition. For more info, you can take a look at our website, calkindmedia.com. I'm Rose Jacobs. Thanks for joining me today.